Hey, uh, two days ago, I said at the end of that video that I wasn't going to say what it was going to be about, but that I would do a video the next day, which is now yesterday, and I didn't do the video. A hilarious bit of irony. I, uh, didn't do the video for the exact reason that this video was supposed to be on. Oh boy. But it wound up, it wound up working out. The, um, just a few hours ago, Kyle Hill put out a video uh, announcing that about five years ago, he was diagnosed as autistic. And this is the first publicly coming forward that uh, he's talked quite a bit about how uh, him being autistic wound up being a major benefit for exactly what we're going to be talking about. Attention, the autistic. Attention's an interesting thing. The common trope, stereotype, is that the autistic have hyper-focus outcomes. That's true to some extent. There's also good reason why autism is highly comorbid with attention deficit disorder. Now, sometimes ADHD gets thrown in there, I would argue that it's not typically the case that hyperactivity is an additional component. Uh, in fact, the autistic are usually less active. The hyperactivity component typically isn't there. Um, but like anything, it varies. There's nothing about the condition that excludes hyperactivity or high energy. Um, God, I hike ridiculous amounts. Based on the way the weather's been looking, I should be able to do that really soon, which would be fantastic. Get out of the house. But need it. What's been going on the past year? Now, and I may be shooting myself in the foot, but I'm not doing these videos for financial gain. Lord knows my viewer count is not high enough to do that. I am not scripting this video partially to get the point on what I'm going to be talking about across. Both ADD and autism seem to share a tremendous amount of disorganization in thought, not necessarily a material thing. Um, in fact, the autistic tend to be very particular about organization. Not obsessive-compulsive in nature, but very systematically organized, um, which can present as messy. That's a whole other talk, though. So I don't have the list that I normally have. So you go, you get in disorganization. More like the freestyle discussion videos today. That's also in part because we don't know why this disorganization happens. Um, if you think, do you have? research that explains why that's the case, uh, send it my way. I'd be glad to review it. And if it's good research, I'll do an update to this. More likely than not, uh, from what I've read, it's hugely inconclusive, and there's a absolute crap ton of methodological and interpretation errors in the uh, stuff that's out there. But... The video, first or second or something, uh, bad with time sequencing. I mentioned that the behavioral effects that you see as the result of these things, the, the, they all converge into common patterns, uh, which is sort of why autism is recognized as a behavioral thing. It's not at its core. Differences in the brain affect the way you think in very consistent ways. 
So unsurprisingly, the effect on attention converges in very specific ways. You see this sort of break into two different things? See, normally people's attention is pretty well-rounded. I don't quite want to say evenly distributed, but I, much more so than you see of the autistic. Um, most people can keep pretty good track of the things in their life, like where they put the keys. You know, you still forget about them sometimes. But... And borrow from Kyle Hill's video. He's bad enough about it. He developed a strategy for remembering these by putting them on top of the food he was going to bring in the refrigerator, because he'd remember the food. And so if the keys were on top of the food in the refrigerator, you're forced to interact with them. I have a sort of similar issue with bills. I know it's not a good thing to have an issue with. I have automatic bill pay set up, which is a great adaptive strategy. Love automatic bill pay because it just takes care of it. Um, some people will argue, ah, what if I want to pay a higher amount? Then let the automatic bill pay do its thing and then put a, another payment in for a smaller amount to make the two add up to the whatever you intended. It's a non-issue. At least that's the way I view it. But if, when I get paper bills, which happens sometimes, uh, like in the hospital, I had uh, two paper bills sent to me. If I don't pay those right away, and I mean right away like that moment when I open the thing up, I'll forget about it. I don't mean, oh, it's on my mind and it just keeps lapsing. I mean, I will forget about the bill. I will forget it exists until the next month when I get another one. Like, uh, hey, you didn't pay this. Shit. Fuck. Um, luckily, figured that out at a pretty young age. Like a teenager, not even paying bills yet. And so I, um, a very rare one will slip through. But, so I, I, I developed a strategy for dealing with that. Um, some people like to sort of more meticulously plan things, um, which is where you see the like, rigid, rigid, rigid schedules in the autistic come from. Um, I just address things right away. So if you've ever messaged me on like Twitter or whatever, you know that I get back to you really quickly. That's why, because otherwise I'll click on the thing, being like, oh, I can respond to this later, and then never respond to it. I don't want to do that. It's kind of kind of rude. I mean, no, no, the people who mean who do that don't mean it. It's not pleasant when it happens to you. Like, fuck it. I I have to respond right away, or I'm gonna forget about it. On the other side, you see hyperfocus, which is sort of more what's known in autism. I uh, this is this is what happened. Me not doing the video. I got really, really focused on some programming. I was doing. Forgot to eat. I didn't eat dinner. Yeah. I don't think I drank enough water either because I woke up really, really thirsty. And it's not in the middle of winter right now, so it's not like really dry air. Fingers are all cracked. I feel like shit. I hate the way my hands feel right now. And it's because of dehydrated, pounding water all day trying to make up for it. Coffee ain't helping, but whatever. 
Um, hyperfocus is weird. Obviously enough, I don't hyperfocus on these videos. Otherwise, the quality of the content and the rate at which the videos would come out would be a lot better, a lot more consistent. Uh, this isn't my thing. This is something I sort of force myself to do. I've talked more about that in the video. I won't get too much into it. Um, this is a sort of challenge to myself. A little extra thing that I, I do. Uh, not something I intend to monetize ever. It probably would be 2025 before I even start making a few pennies off of these videos. Whatever keep doing them. No, um, in Kyle Hill's video, which, did I say a link to that? I will have a link to that. He's a much bigger creator. You'd have an easy time finding it anyways, but I will link to that. Um, he talks about hyperfocus being a, a major part of why he's able to produce the high quality content that he does at the rate he does, and it's a huge benefit. And it, it is. It's a huge benefit. At the expense of other things. Like I said, I forgot to eat yesterday. Sometimes you forget to shower, which is embarrassing. And gross. Schedule your showers. <laughs> There's no... No other way around that. The schedules I, I, with the autistic, this is this is why you don't schedule. It, it's not an anxiety thing. If you don't schedule, you just forget to do it, and you need to do it. You need to eat. You need to take a shower. You need to other things. Schedule you forget about. Cell phones have been an absolutely fantastic advantage to the autistic because you can, not the basic cell phone, the, the, you know, smartphones became a thing. PDAs combined with cell phones, put your whole schedule down in there in the calendar. If you've got the right thing set up, you can even sync it between multiple devices. Jot something down in my phone and have it come up on my computer if I happen to be here. Like, hey, you have this appointment that I know you're going to forget about. Which used to happen, too. And, um, you gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta, it helps a lot. I, um, I remember, I don't know, a kid I used to read non textbooks a lot more. Read the first three or four Harry Potter books. It's not being interesting to me after, uh, after a while. It was one, one night, got uh, the new book and read through the entire thing. Didn't even sleep. Just read through the whole book because that's what I was focused on. There are a lot of times where I'd be programming from seven o'clock in the morning to eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. Just be programming almost straight. Have to pop up some of my computer and hey you should probably eat so you're gonna forget about it. Um, it's useful. I don't wanna it it's useful but you gotta learn how to how to deal with it. So if you're the if you're a parent younger autistic child start setting these things up, get them in place fairly early, it's going to help immensely. Uh, just, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily anxiety. It's, I mean, it, it can, anxiety can be a component of it, but that's usually because it's made to be a component of it. 
if um, just just get them in place it helps a lot. Note that it usually doesn't need to be extremely rigid. So it's not like oh twelve oh five we do a lunch. It's usually not that rigid around lunch. The, um, something else I wanted to talk about with this. What was it? What was it? <sighs> Shit, I don't know. Good. No. So, I will wrap it up then. You can see, it goes much better if I make the list, which is also why you should make the list. Uh, might even be why tend to script parts of conversations. Have that. Uh, probably why. Yeah. I'll let others who talked about this and did not show the level of disorganization and thought, and then they scripted the video uh, explain this in much more entertaining ways but yeah um, attention in autism is a weird thing and I would describe it fairly simply as just rather than being nice and well-rounded it's and lopsided. Focus really intensely on certain things, barely at all on others. Get to do basic self-care. Problem. But all that that can be highly beneficial. A disproportionately large amount of the autistic and a disproportionately large amount of People with ADHD that want to be entrepreneurs. This is partially because of difficulties in the workplace that will not be accommodated for. Um, there are some that I disagree with who are overly focused, in my opinion, on trying to get everybody to accommodate tend to be rather hostile, call everybody ableists and shit like that. Obviously I'm not being hostile with these videos. I'm explaining things. Hopefully that perspective helps. But it's also to help those who've been diagnosed, or parents of those who've been diagnosed. That kind of stuff. The lack accommodations is not something I'm bitching about as much as it's just sort of a fact of life. It's not just a disability thing that happens with all sorts of things. And it's actually partially the result of the oxytocin and group binding bonding uh, thing that I talked about in the previous video. Um, just part of biology like, it's kind of evolved to do that really hard to undo thousands of years of evolution so yeah but yeah you know, disproportionate amount of the autistic and adhd go on to be entrepreneurs because it works there's in both cases there's really nothing that gets in the way of doing the job itself it's other people in both cases you think differently than other people and Therein lies the problem. It's, it's not a disability of the, the job. I don't know of any stats for autism, but ADHD. There are. ADHD is four times overrepresented among entrepreneurs. 
that is. What are the rates of ADHD right now? I don't know, but you sample entrepreneurs, they're four times more likely to have ADHD. Among successful entrepreneurs, they're also five times more likely to have ADHD. Again, I don't know the stats for autism, but it's expected to be pretty similar because it's the same underlying thing going on here. The entrepreneur is more likely to have ADHD and is more likely to be successful because of that hyperfocus. You learn to deal with it, it can actually be a huge asset. And let's face it, the world isn't going to accommodate you. I mean, you're going to accommodate you. Your customers, they only care. They want the product. Good product, good service. They really don't care. That's the best kind of accommodation you can get. And that's not, oh, whoa, whatever. That's actually like the best way you can do what it is. Be kind to not be negatively judged. To, It's a lot easier to take the things that you're good at, the ability to hyperfocus, the, the incredible passion you have for things, the incredible attention to detail. It's a lot easier to take that and brush up on entrepreneurial skills than it is to do what we did for decades, berating the person for being different and not being able to do things the same way that other people can. The attention is different, but not good, not bad, just different. Use it the right way. You'll be glad. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the next video. It ain't like last time where I knew, but I wasn't going to say. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the next video. So, until then, have a good one, guys.